Hello and welcome back to Cookie and the Haydens and I'm Carboot Chris and we've got, of course, Bag and Bellow. Yay, and we are back after a break last week. I hope you didn't miss us too much. Of course they did. They were all, they all had nothing to do last Monday. They were literally sat there twiddling their thumbs going, what the hell do we do without Cookie and the Haydens on? Um, Not yeah. said anybody ever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, at least it looks like most of you. Have, what the chair's doing that thing? Mm-hmm. <laughs> <God> <laughs> well, I'll just stay down here for the rest of the show. <laughs> you can't stay down there. You're way too low. <laughs> Don't call me little bell for no reason. <laughs> um, so at least most people seem oh. to have come back. Uh, after uh, missing us last week, so thanks for joining us again, as always. Should we try and get you up a bit? <laughs> Should we try and get you up? Good job you're not saying that to me. Hello? Let's, let's Excuse me, everybody. <laughs> Technical error in the studio. And the reason we're hunting for a new chair. Oh, there we go. All right. See, now, don't move. You, it, are... you know what it is when you start leaning back? That's what it does. Yeah, but everybody thinks oh. that this is my normal height. I'm actually sat on four cushions on top of this chair. And I've got Look my, how much better that is. I've got it? my feet on a box just to be the same height as Chris. It's like the bloody broom cupboard in here. <laughs> Can't move. Yeah, and you're bloody the muppet. Thanks. So you've got your round up. Right. Anyway, listen, folks. Thanks again for joining us. I hope you've had a good couple of weeks on the old eBay amazon facebook whatever else you source on if you're new to the channel um i am a full-time reseller predominantly ebay of course but i do a tiny bit on amazon although it's going like that um facebook and other such places so i pick up anything car boot sales charity shops i like to choose movie and tv related stuff but nowadays we are diversifying a lot more. Maybe once upon a time that was the case. I still like, I know, what I said was I like to pick them up. And when was the last time you did? Um, not that long ago. <laughs> I've got some stuff here that's TV and movie related. Yeah, barely. No, anyway. he's, he's literally become a hoarder. He's just like... We're all hoarders. All of you. You're all hoarders. And I bet I can guarantee it. <laughs> I bet most of you just hoard shit. Yeah. This this business is slowly expanding through the house. Okay, let's have a quick let's have a quick look. Annabelle always takes over on this, and it goes on forever. Um, but we'll have on what? A, on the little shout outs at the start. That's because I don't like to miss anybody. Oh, okay. Lucy Goosey. <laughs> Lucy Goosey is first. Hi guys. Not on mine. Oh, I can't stop. <laughs> I can't cope with Just it. Just go for it. Go on. I can't go, 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 go. Steve Jackson's in. Um, who else have we got? Damien. Dave Repairs is here. Uh, something Barnstable. Scrape my car. Bung. Oh. Uh, Jeff. Hi, Jeff. Uh, Jason, the reselling... Oh, it's always a mouthful, isn't it? Jason, the reselling game at Entwistle. AKA the person I missed during the quiz every time. I know. I know we say this every <laughs> week. Don't we? Tori's back. Hi, Tori. Good to see you. Hope you're okay. Um, Leanne. Hi, Leanne. Lots of chat about penguins. I've seen it all now. I've seen I wonder it all. why. Why is there so much chat about penguins? I God have no idea people what people are going on about. Lost the plot. Yeah, they just stuck on crazy. Uh, I, love, I love Papa's penguins. I love Papa's Penguins too. That film is brilliant. I love it. Which is unusual because you don't like Jim Carrey. And I, I do. You know what I don't like him in when he does stupid Jim Carrey. So when he's in Pet Detective, uh, what else? Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. That's that the is same that thing. Pet Detective. Um, but any basically his Pet Ven Pet Ventura. <laughs> pet Ventura. <laughs> his uh, Ace. What is it? Ace Ventura Pet Detective. That's it. When he does that kind of performance, I hate it. But if you think about Truman Show, was brilliant. Love that film. Anyway, you've diverse. Come on, go. Uh, okay, Derek the Tap Peddler. Hi, Katan. 
Uh, Steve Brano, hi Steve. Rebecca Turner, hello. Uh, oh, tonsillitis, crikey. Ouch, not good. I hope you feel better soon. Yeah, get well soon, Rebecca. Um, who else is here? There's a few people in. Pete, hi Peter, you all right? Uh, Nathan, Chris, did I say Chris Tyler? If yeah. not, there he is, Chris. Uh, uh, Queenie Conquest is in. Well, uh, we've got a jam-packed show today. I'm just skipping down to see if I've missed anyone. I think I've, I think I've got my, Lucy mm. Hughes. Have I said Lucy? Looking at some of the comments, though, people missed us last week. Ah, oh. or maybe it was oh. just Catan. Bless, <laughs> bless. You're lost without us. Uh, reseller kid John at YLM. And are we at the bottom yet? Are oh, we at the bottom? Gun, we nearly... Gun, 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 Guns OG. How's everyone doing? We're okay. Um, I can't speak Marlo's for everybody. Independent Trading Co. Oh, yes. Hi, Marlowe's, uh, which is Jim. Jim, I think. Yes, it's Jim, isn't it? My memory is not amazing. So we've got Mr. Money Mental me. in. Money Mental's here. And Oliver uh, Ian. Oliver Ian. No, I'm quite late. Sorry. Why are you so late? How mm, dare great. you? And especially after we weren't on last week. Mm. <sighs> Bad student. Okay, so welcome everybody. So today's show, uh, we're gonna just we're gonna be led by the chat. That means I've been a bit lazy and I've not organized too much. So we're gonna lead by you guys, whatever you want to chat about. But in between that. I'm going to show you a jumble trail haul, not one haul, but, well, it's one haul, but from two jumble trails are on Sunday. Um, I'm also going to do a little mini auction towards the end. We've got some stuff to auction off. Um, maybe you'll be interested in it. Maybe you won't, but it's <laughs> yeah. fine. We'll we see how it goes. We have some stuff to auction off, but we may be keeping it. <laughs> we may end up keeping it if no one wants it. And I think we should give people an update, seeing as the reason we weren't here last week was because we actually managed to make it back to Manchester to went see back our to Manchester. To Manchester. Yeah. Yeah, our right, kid. We went back to the Manchester. And we had a very nice but very strange meet up with our families. Um, we had to we had a strict schedule we had to stick to, didn't we? So we could see everybody at the houses and in the gardens and stuff. Luckily, we had it was really good weather, wasn't it? So we could sit out in the garden. Uh, and yeah, it was brilliant. Yeah, it was nice to get back to get back. And I actually went to two car boot sales. He well. did. I didn't. I went to Chelford <laughs> car boot twice. I did not. So anyway, yeah, it was a nice trip back. And now you've got your work out for you this week. Ooh. Because we have our first visitors coming oh, yeah. on Friday. I have both my boys and the, and the lovely Keris, my eldest fiance, who's driving them down. So we're super excited, but Chris has a lot of listing to do. I've got to clear that back room. I was going to say, and why is that? There because the back room has become his listing room. Now it's become my um, <laughs> death pile storage <laughs> room. Uh, so Oliver Ian said, wife bought units, I'm having to build them after work. Oh, dear, oh, Any dear. excuse, whatever. What a load of rubbish. Whatever. Uh, poor Oliver Ian, sorry, says. Uh, oh, what was that there about detectorists? I missed it. Oh, it was reseller kid said he watched it. He'd have to watch more things that you suggest. Oh, Steve Brano uh, says, I agree, reseller kid love detectorists. I love that. You didn't like it, did you? She watched episode one and was like, mm, it's a bit boring, this. Mm -hmm. But I loved it. I absolutely loved it. It was kind of like, I don't know, it's kind of, it's hard to describe the, the pace that it takes, but I really loved it. And I was that hooked on it. Um, I pretty much binged three series in a week while I was sort of listing and I was watching stuff. Well, and he was working. Well, I, was, I was listening. <laughs> <laughs> but I absolutely loved it. Um, Steve Brown also can't believe he missed you at Chelford. Yeah, I know, yeah. We've already had this conversation. He was there. And he didn't buy the parrots. <laughs> oh, Steve, -O, you didn't buy them parrots. I've sold one of them already. I got 55 quid for one. So I'm just waiting for the other one to sell. A lot of interest in them, lots of watches. And even I was sceptical when he came on with two bloody parrots. You almost convinced little Eric one of them was real, didn't you? Yeah. <laughs> 
I had a bit of fun. He had it sat on his, I had it sat on his hand and he was like, now don't come too quickly or you'll scare it. And he was like creeping forward. <laughs> Olive Ian said, uh, so only Chris could go car boots back home. Of course. Yeah, not a chance. I would have only been lying in bed, so I might as well get up and do some work. Nope. Yeah, I can't believe we missed each other. Would you, do you think you'd have recognised me, Steve? Uh, do you think you'd have noticed me? I had my mask on, so actually, once you put your mask like on, Batman. Then, you, you, <laughs> might, you might not have even recognised me anyway. Because a lot, I look, you see, the thing is, I look a lot better, I'm better, I'm better looking in real life than what I am on screen. Um, so you might struggle because you might think, that's that can't be Carboot. Chris, he looks far too young. It's the, it's the lighting in here. It kind of drains the energy out of you. Hmm. You weren't even listening to a no, word of that, would you? I wasn't. I was reading the comments. Oliver Ian's asking if I want to go and build these units. Hey, if you'd have seen us yesterday, tell you what, Bob the Builders, no. What did we buy yesterday? We bought an outdoor storage unit off Facebook Marketplace. Fantastic value. They come, dropped it off. It was still built and we couldn't fit it through the front door. No, and we have no other way of getting to our back garden. When it comes to dismantling it, the bloody thing wouldn't come apart. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we spent how long? Two hours trying to manhandle that into the back garden. It was a bloody nightmare. Tell you something, I've told him we ain't moving now. We ain't moving because I'm not moving that box again. End mm. of. Steve Brown said, I've decided to buy a metal detector. And I, I've, I'm. I've mm -hmm. not, dis not decided yet if I'm selling it yet. Mm -hmm. I might take it down the beach uh, or something next time. No, we're not. I ain't going with you. And what if I find something? I could mm -hmm. find like a diamond ring or something. Well, go on your own. I'm not walking around with you one of them. Why? Because I'm not. Don't be ridiculous. Not a chance. Loads of people go around with metal detectors. Mm -mm. Nope. Better looking with a mask on, he says, you cheeky bugger. <laughs> Uh, you had the bottle to buy the parrots, maybe, mate. I think I'd have seen you, you reckon. Nice one. Oh, Damien's been smashing his own records. I'm just looking a bit further up. TK says, put the three three resellers alive at the man. It's sheesh loyalties. Well, thank you for coming joining us. If you had three devices, you could have all three on at once, couldn't you? Just like flick between them. That's good. Um... Jason says, I bought a good detector and used it once. That'll be me, to be honest with you. I'm going to give it a go once. And then obviously I'm not going to find anything. So I'll just, I'll sack it in. Because I don't want to look like a plonker either. It's a fact I'm not going with him. Because knowing my look, I'll also have a chupa chup cap on. Just to finish the look. Oh, yeah. Steve-O says we could start our own detectors club. Like the one in the programme. Steve-O, you know I can go off people, don't you? Please don't encourage these things. What what would we be called? We need a name for our detectors detectorist club. Oh dear. The what should we? Right, let's roll. We've got other stuff to do. This is no seriously. This is, no, this no, is no, important. No, 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 no. I want a name for no, our detectorist club. And Tory, don't get involved because you know what he'll do. He'll have you trying to find a name for him. Don't get involved. Say no. Bottle tops through the ages. <laughs> yeah, I love that. Mm. You won't understand that. Nope. The, me the metal it. penguins. Ah, that's great. Penguins. Penguin something. Right, don't you have some stuff to show? Right. Oh, we've got a shout out today. <laughs> um... The metal, I love, yeah, the metal penguins. I think, I think that's because we could have a great logo as well. We could get our own fleeces made, the metal penguins, and like in the program, get our own fleeces. Right, come on. Shh. Are we boring you? Yes. I think it's a great idea. We could meet yeah. virtually via Zoom every week instead of having a, a proper meetup. We could do a Zoom meetup to show what we find. You know, I've never considered divorcing you until this moment. I'm doing shout outs. <laughs> shout outs. 
Okay, so uh, moving swiftly on before Annabelle falls out with me over this. Um, we I've just got the one shout out really to do, but it's a very special one. And it's uh, Steve uh, Steve's birthday. Happy birthday! So you sing happy, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. I'm going. <laughs> you want to buy that? I'm going to sing. <laughs> Carry on. You get on with it yourself. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy That's birthday. That's bothering some order to this. <laughs> it's a mess. God almighty. Right, well, happy birthday. I can't, I, I don't actually know how old he is. He's, just, he's about 50, isn't he? <laughs> no, seriously, I think he's about 50. I don't think so. Let us know how old you are and be honest about it, please. No lying. Uh, I hope you have a, you've had a nice day anyway. Uh, let me just take that off. Sorry, happy birthday. Just give a couple of we've got. We've had Ben Taylor, who's dropped in. He says he's only 15 minutes late, so he's getting better. Still a late mark. Yeah. Uh, and we've got Al, I'm feeling supersonic. Great to be back and watching my faves. Yeah, nice one. What are you after? What do you want? <laughs> Tori's birthday's in September. We'll, we'll come up with something for your birthday as well. <laughs> where Where is he? He's not even... Oh, there he is. <laughs> Bullshit, Steve. Bullshit. I'm calling it. <laughs> Pat Catan says, apparently, I'm making the next action. I'm making the Christmas song. Correct, reseller kid. I think you're closer to the, the mark there. You can't be younger than <gasps> that. Dave? He said, how come you're suddenly singing in tune, Bill? What are you trying to say? What are you trying to say? Hey, 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 hey. You're obviously tone deaf because I can't sing in tune. That ever. was in tune, was it? <laughs> Jesus. It's not what I was hearing. No, not what I was hearing either. No. Uh, okay, so what we've got to do? What are we doing? I don't know. What are we on to now? Um, okay. What's on your little list? 38 plus that, Peter says. <gasps> <laughs> So what does that make him? Two, four, six, eight, what, 45? <laughs> oh, Damien says my birthday is in two weeks and six days. Woo! Does that mean I've got to sing again? Is no. this the new thing? Balloons and singing. Whoop, whoop. We'll just record it and put it on a loop. <laughs> Cheeky, Stephen <laughs> says. Yeah, we need to. Well, we, what we could do is for birthdays, we could record a little VT and play yeah. it for everyone, and you could do all the uh, singing on it. We no. could try and make you sound <laughs> a bit better. Yeah, try. Put a bit of auto, whatever on it, auto tune. Apparently, Andrew's birthday's oh on Sunday. Whatever, whatever. Um, okay, what are we doing? Oh, we're doing a haul. I oh, know. DP's put Andrew's birthday this coming Sunday. Oh, right. So does that mean I have to sing to him now, or do I sing to him the day after? How about not at all? <gasps> we have to sing. You, can, you, you can't can't sing your own song on Sunday. You can't have favourites. I've got no favourites. No Andrew, but don't worry. Only... I will do you a private. Right. What I'll do is I will send you a private message with me singing "Happy Birthday" to you. How does that sound? Mm. Hey. Um. Like the Mr. President one. Happy birthday. It, you only get a special birthday message. This is the rule. <laughs> is if it's on the day of our show. That's a lot of rubbish. No, that is you the rule. You just made that up. That's it. Otherwise, we'll be here all day doing birthday <laughs> stuff. Right. Let's do this. Okay. Let's go. These are a few of my favourite things. These are a few of my favourite things. He's hearing less than my favourite things. And then I don't hear them. Yeah, if you want to write in at any point, <laughs> send us a letter. P.O. Box, Carboot yeah. Chris. P.O. Box 69, Carboot Chris. Make sure you draw a little picture with windows on it that we can open up with your, with your, with your face in. <laughs> <laughs> we'll we'll start pinning them up, pinning them up on the wall, and we'll have a bit of a gallery going on. 
Yeah. What was it that was that had the gallery on it? Was it art uh, heartbeat? Heart art uh, art beat. No. Is it art attack? Art, not art attack. It was before that. Heart. Heartbeat or something. Heartbeat. Had the yeah. gallery on it, remember? Yeah, it had the little plasticine then. Yes, with morph on it. That's the one. Right, anyway, come on. Uh, Tony Hart, that's it. But it was, was it heart attack? Uh, no, heart, not heart attack. <laughs> <laughs> this heartbeat, one. it was. Yeah, he's saying heart, uh, people saying heartbeat. It was heartbeat. Right, anyway, go. Right. Two, two jumble trails, local, fairly local to us. We had to do a bit of a drive into the countryside. And um, one was in a, a nice little village, uh, all quite closely packed in, and we could just walk around most of it. Um, it wasn't called the Jumble Trail, though, was it? It was Door it, Stop something. It was Door Door Stop Boot. Door Stop Boot or Door Car Boot or something. Uh, no, but, it was Door Stop Boot. But it was basically a Jumble Trail, just a different name. Um, so we went to one in the morning and then as we finished there we went to one in the afternoon that was not far from us either in Plymouth um, and I picked up a few bits and bobs which I was quite pleased about now just for, for this first one I might just move the camera because it saves me lifting it it's very heavy and if you're on Instagram you will have seen this already but I picked this up and I don't really do electronics I, am, I do seem to be picking up more and more electronics here's the broom cupboard getting to see behind the scenes here Mm -hmm. uh, you know, sometimes they used to show behind the scenes, didn't they? Um, so, there's these, this whole unit here, this whole thing cost me £50. It's a Yamaha, there's a CD player on the top, then there's a natural sound network receiver, and then at the bottom are some Usher speakers. So, going totally off gut instinct, because I know that Yamaha are decent, pretty much whatever. Yamaha are decent. Um, I picked those up. And the town says, does that have Spotify beat it? It does. Spotify streaming service. You can link, you, you can connect it. Do your magic hand. Magic hand. Woo! You can connect it to your network and then you can stream your Spotify through the, the receiver. Um, but the speakers are proper heavy duty. As soon as I picked them up, I, I just thought they've got to be worth some decent money. Um, so the speakers were like a tenner and each of the uh, separates were like £20 each. So the whole thing was 50 Um Now, I've actually listed all this today. Some people gave me some good advice on Instagram saying it was, you know, there was some decent money in there. Um, I've actually listed the CD player for 150 quid. I've already got two watches on it within like minutes. So somebody had a save search for that. Um, the network receiver I've listed for 170. Now, I reckon I could have got more, I could have listed it for more, but actually, some of the front is faded some of the, the silver paintwork is rubbed off a little bit so i've reduced the price based on condition fully works i've tested it all and, and it still looks amazing it still it still looks mint um the usher speakers now these are the ones that are probably going to get me the money i've listed them for 300 quid um basically based on uh, what they've sold for and what people are listing them for um there's not that many on anyway but i've gone I've gone high on them. I'm going to just see what happens. But they're in great condition. And when I tested them out, the sound on them is absolutely mint. Mint. Um, Al, I'm feeling supersonic. said, skills, Christopher, proper score that. Steve Brennell says, I like that setup. Looks great. Uh, hi, Gary. Gary Nicholson joined us. Damien said he sold the Batman Builder Bear for 15 quid and posted. Yeah, that's about right. 15 quid for that because you had two sounds in it. And that makes a bit of a difference. Mr. Diggs has joined us. Well, Mr. Diggs. Hi, Diggsy. Um, Woohoo76 says Mum's Road having yard trail in August. Whereabouts do you live, Woohoo? Pretty sure I just called him Woohoo instead of Woohoo. 
Uh, yeah, the Usher ones, Dave, um, they are, I think they're medium to high uh, when I looked on some reviews of them. Um, but yeah, definitely an expensive piece of kit. Uh, Steve-O says, did you say 50 quid? Yeah, 50 quid for the lot. Mm -hmm. um, Simply Real Reselling says, nice find, Chris. Hope they sell well. Hopefully. I hope so. Oh, Woo-Woo's in Norfolk. Norfolk. Um, so that was one lot. Now, the rest I can probably show you a bit more closer. So It's all downhill from here anyway. Yeah, I mean, that's the best thing I picked up. Um, I got... No, no pickup haul is the same without a plush toy. And here it is. Here's the, this one. It's a Harrods, what did you call it? A Scotty. I don't know if it's a white Scotty or a Westie or what, but yeah. it's just this bit here looks like a Scotty dog. Yeah. So I picked that up. Sort of terrier. And I think he was 50p. I'm hoping to get around £20 for him. <laughs> Dave said it's a white barter. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah, it does look like Barty, doesn't it? Katan says, have you tested it? How did it sound? Awesome. Absolutely mint. I tested it. I hooked it all up. Were you playing the Go-Go Power Rangers on it? No. <laughs> no, that was on the cassette player. Uh, oh, yeah, that was the cassette player. Um, what else did I get? I got two Disney mugs. Who says I don't buy anything movie or TV related? Mm-hmm. Um, Two Disney, I think they're like latte mugs, or you could use them as ice cream mugs as well. So, what the bloody hell's an ice cream mug? Well, ice cream cup or whatever. You fill it with ice cream, don't you? Um, there's no such thing as an ice cream cup. Of course it is. No, you know, you're making it up as you go along. If it was an ice cream thing, it wouldn't have a handle. Of course it does. It's an ice cream cup. Oh, my God. You are mental, you are. <laughs> Who agrees with me that they could double up as ice cream cups? They would be amazing as ice cream I'm not cream saying cups. you couldn't put ice cream in them, but there's no such thing as an ice cream cup. Yes, there is. You can buy ice cream cups. Mm -hmm. you, you can buy them in the pound shop. Okay. Oh, my God. She doesn't know anything. Does she? <laughs> um, these were £1.50 for the pair. I've listed these as a pair. I could have gone individual on them, but I thought, let's just try and get rid of them both together. I've gone... Oh, yeah, Gary says milkshake. Um, I've gone twenty four ninety nine on the pair. Well, thank you, Marlowe's. It's not a Sunday type thing. It is. <coughs> People are agreeing me. You get Sunday glasses, not mugs. Oh, yeah. That's just up to <laughs> word. Thanks, guys. That's just a word. Um, for, I'm mugs, feeling yeah. supersonic says, question, guys, if they sell quick, would you move over to electronics? Well, to be fair, with what he's bought this week, I feel I like he is already... I don't think I would, to be honest with you. I'm already worried about when these sell, I'm going to post them. You've got a boom box, you've got a radio, you've got that windy up radio. Yeah. What I else have we got? That. You've brought in, you've got that um, video DVD recorder thing down there. You've got this. No, we're not moving into electronics, are we? Listen, when the opportunities <laughs> are there, you take them. And you've had a bag full of cameras. Is cameras classed as electronics? No. Oh. Say that about them. Um, okay, another mug. This one is Cruella de Vil. And it says, aren't I fabulous, darling? Um, pretty much brand new. I don't even think it's been used. It's it's in mint condition. It cost me 50p from the same place I got the other mugs. I was dog sitting in the car while he was getting all these bargains. I know. It was, some of these, a lot of this was on one store. Mm. I just got some really good stuff. I always like picking up Harley Davidson stuff, and this came with its original bag. Um, it's Harley Davidson Mexico, and it's somewhere I've actually been, actually, Cancun in Mexico. Mm. You haven't been there, have you? Nope. Didn't you go for your first honeymoon? Nope. I went with Neil, but you can call that honeymoon <laughs> if you want. <laughs> um, it's a Harley Davidson T-shirt on the back. It's got Cancun, Mexico. It is actually, you know, it's got that. New Ooh, smell, smell. I can so smell it's it. definitely brand new. It's never been worn in its original bag. One pound, one pound. I was like, Yep, yeah, I'll have that. <laughs> I've listed that for 30 quid because it's in its bag as well. So, it's good, right? 30 quid from one pound. Uh, Andrew said, You do always say to move out of your comfort zone. You're absolutely right. Yes, I do. 
And Dave says that windy radio certainly should sell. It's a thingy radio. It's a camping one. Camping one. It's a solar powered one solar where you can wind up, yeah. Wind up thing. Yeah. I have suggested keeping it though, haven't I? So we can yeah. use it for like taking to the beach and stuff. We might keep it, yeah, because when we go down to the beach it'll give us something to take. Carbon dioxide joined us. Hello, no worries about being late. You are forgiven. And what have I said? Dog dogging in the car, did she say? No, I said I was dog sitting, <laughs> not dogging. <laughs> What we had cookie in the car. Um, MJ Dumbarton says, hey, guys, only found your channel a few weeks ago. Love it. You guys have bags of person. Oh, that's very kind. Thank you. Appreciate that. Is that another word for saying we're weird? Yeah, probably. <laughs> it's all right. We are a bit. I certainly am. I'm, I'm an oddball. Simple is as simple does. I'm an oddball and she's a nut job. So. <laughs> right. Oh, you make such a good couple. I've, now, I never buy these. I'm going out of my comfort zone again. Big box PC games. Now, these were 50p each, and I had a quick scan. They are complete. They've got instructions. The discs are perfect. They've got maps, all the, the whole shaboodle. So I didn't bother looking up. I just had a feeling. I just had a gut instinct again that they might be worth something. Um, Panzer General 2, 50p. Panzer General 3D Assault and Close Combat Battle of the Bulge. That's like me at the minute. <laughs> Battle of the Bulge. Battle of the Bulge. <laughs> That's what it's called. Yeah, me and you were thinking of different things then. What are you thinking? <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> and you were, I was like, oh, okay then. No, I'm Not thinking, being overly confident there. <laughs> I'm thinking battle the, the stomach bulge. And Annabelle's thinking another bulge. You know you're all thinking my bulge. <laughs> um, so, pay 50p each on these. Um, the two panzers. All PC, yeah, Dave says. All, what, sorry? all PC. Yeah, all Windows PC, Windows 95, 98. Um, I've listed that for 30 I've listed that for 30, and I've listed that for 20. I might be over-egging that one, but I went for 20 on it. I went high. We'll see what happens. But that represents really good, a really good um, profit margin if it comes to fruition. Right, we've got a couple here. Green Bear Pete says he picked up a Legoland Green Dragon plush today from a charity shop. Didn't check the price, thought it would go for 10 to 12. Just saw the Lego label and thought it would be worth loads. Lego plushes are not always a good buy. I've bought Lego plushes before. I've had a Lego horse and all sorts. Um, they don't always do well. But <laughs> that Lego horse went into the charity shop. Yeah, bag. a charity shop that. It just wasn't worth my time. It did full circle. But... You can never tell. You can never really tell unless you know that you've had something that's Simply not Simply reselling said 50p bargain. That's on your thing. Yeah. DB Resell says, everyone should own a wind-up radio. It will be the only way of keeping in touch with emergency broadcasts in a true apocalypse once all the batteries have died. True. That is very true. Yeah, let's keep it. <laughs> Zombie apocalypse. Katan says, I could, uh, could you please give a shout-out to Avenus Biker Lifestyle? He's a fantastic reseller and a video and videos are very good. I've asked for permission if okay to mention to plug it and he said, Yeah. Has this person come into the chat? Because I thought I'd seen somebody. Yeah, they're having us by lifestyle. So hi guys, sorry. I did yeah. see you before and then got distracted. Um, yeah, go for it. So yeah, nice I thanks shall for being in. Have a, remember that and I'll have a look at it later. I'm not gonna remember, so you need to write it down. Right. <laughs> or Katan, you need to message him. I'll remember it. It's a weird name, isn't it? Sorry if I offend you there, but <laughs> unusual name is probably better. Um Oh, he's he's right underneath there afterwards. Oh, there you uh, go. Uh, note to self, don't say any more twenty one inch CRT TV. Don't sell any more twenty one inch CRT TVs. What's one of them? CRT is like the square box TVs, uh, like that you game on. A lot like the one we've on. got in the other room. No, that's not a CRT. Oh. That's a that's a flat screen one. Oh, that's okay. what you do. The CRTs are the square ones with the like, big backs. Yeah. No. Uh, Stew's in a bit late. Never mind. Better late than never. <laughs> uh, 
Um, I will. I will do. Um, a few, let me do a few more pickups. Message Chris. <laughs> uh, nice one. Okay, so those PC games have done that. And the other thing I got, and Annabelle spotted this, was a uh, PS1 bundle. Mm. And if you're on Instagram, you will have seen this because I put on it today. I put it. I put it on Instagram today because uh, I don't often l list this kind of stuff. I don't do a lot of games really. Uh, but this lot was ten quid, and I thought it was worth it. Um, Well, Steve Jackson says, will those play on the newer PCs? I think he's oh, talking about your games. Pass. There's no way I could know that. Anybody in the gaming world that could answer that question? It's Windows-based, so maybe, maybe not. I don't know. So I picked up a PS1. <laughs> Andrew, more electronics. Oh, look, we don't do electronics. Enough, enough. <laughs> uh, PS1, two memory cards, two controllers, the leads, and I think it was 10 games. Games are not amazing, um, but there's a couple of decent ones. Destruction Derby in the big box. Um, some Gran Turismo, some drivers, and some other bits. So we picked all that lot up for 10 quid. You spotted it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And she only wanted a tenner, so I just thought, I can't lose really a tenner. So I've listed these today. I've done a PlayStation 1 bundle with two controllers, two memory cards, and four games for £40. And then I've listed some separately. I've listed Driver 1 and 2 together for, I think, like £10, £11. Gran Turismo 1 and 2 together for a similar amount, £10, £11. Destruction Derby Big Box Edition for £20. And um, Metal Gear Solid, this was from the weekend. Uh, this was from the car boot at the weekend. Metal Gear Solid, I think that went on for 20 as well. Big box version. Um, so, yeah, that was that lot. I thought it was worth a tenner. Simply refilling says you'll get your money back on the games alone. You'll be fine. Marlo um, Independent Trading says easy 60, 70 pound back on your PS1 bundle. Cool. Yeah. I thought that. I thought that to be honest with you, you can't lose at ten quid. Can't lose. Um, so yeah, there was some decent. That was. I think that's it. That was everything we bought at the uh, the Jumble Trails. But it was as much of a day out as anything, wasn't it? It was because one of them was in a really lovely little village in Cornwall, wasn't it? You know, like the old sort of cobbled in narrow roads, and it was very sort of community feel to it, and everybody was out, and yeah, it was really nice, very pretty. And it'd have been even better if I didn't have a cookie dragging me up and down the street. Hmm. But ah, well. Yeah. It's difficult when you take your dog with you. And then also, I had cookie as well to deal with, so... <laughs> That's such an old joke, isn't it? That's such an old joke. Sorry. Sorry, Ben. <laughs> Whatever. Speak to the hand. Oh, that's going to amuse me all night, that. Whatever. Uh, okay, so that was the haul. What do you reckon? It was all right, wasn't it? If those stereos go, that'll be absolutely mint. I'll be well happy with that. And can we just reconfirm this was only yesterday's? This wasn't Saturday's car boot that you went to. No, this is <laughs> uh, this is a jumble trail. We did we, we did we got a lot of stuff from the car boot as well, as you saw. You did uh, on the video. Um, <gasps> Dave said, "Put me on the lead." Uh, MJ Dunbarton says, we question, I'm nearly at the point where I'll need to register as a business with my reselling. How do I prove to HMRC the cost of car boot pickups without receipts such a beginner? Um, it's pretty simple, that one. It's a question that everybody asks. We've all been there and we've all asked this question. Um, where any, What I do, personally, what I do with cash purchases, mainly at car boots, is I will get a, a, a journal like this have each have a day on there where we go to a car boot and I just write down everything that I purchase and total at the bottom um what I tend to do is I pay for cash purchases out of my own money I then transfer it from the business account to my own account 
and I attach a picture of the page as the receipt that goes with that transaction. So it's fairly simple. And the reason I do it that way and not just take money out of the business account and take it out with me is because I never know how much money I'm going to need at a car boot. So what I'll tend to do is I'll draw like 200 quid out of the bank, out of my own bank, spend what I need to spend and the rest just sits in my wallet. If I spend 150 quid on the on the business um, stuff, I will transfer 150 from the business account. My receipt will say 150 on here. Well, not my receipt, but my ledger will say 150 pound and then the two match up. Because uh, what I don't like is drawing money out of the business account cash and then not spending it all. Then I've got then I've got the issue of having cash in hand. And I don't really like to have too much cash in hand. Um, so that's just the way I do it. That's a that's a perfectly OK way. It's the only way that you can record your cash purchases, because at the end of the day, you're not going to go and ask all the um, stall holders at Car Boots to sign receipts, are you? You're not going to do it. So, yeah. Marlo That's Independent Trainers pretty much said the same. He said, write a, write a handwritten note and take a photo of your haul with the sale price. I don't take a picture of the haul. But but you, could you could do, but I don't, I don't think it's necessary to do it. But whatever anybody feels comfortable doing. Uh, Dave says he uses a spreadsheet. Yeah, some people use... Um, some people use he said he also He said he also uses one particular ATM for car boot money too. It helps identify things in QuickBooks. That's interesting. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We but that, that's why I do it out of, I spend out of my own money and then I transfer the exact amount that I've spent from my business account via online banking. Uh, simply reselling says, I'm always forgetting to jot down. It's too easy to fall behind. You do it as soon as you get back though, don't you? I, yeah, I do it straight away. As soon as I get in, um, I will list everything that I've spent because otherwise you forget what you've what things have cost. Um, and then I deal with it on the same day. Um, so you know what I was going to say? We've, we've got somebody called Business Crew has joined us, but they're asking if anyone from Australia is in. We haven't got anyone from Australia in at the moment well, on the chat, have we? Not that I've seen, but they could be lurking. What time is it? Normally they come in a bit later, don't they? Um, I think it's morning over in Australia, so... So are morning. you from Australia Business Crew? Is that why you're asking? Uh, Avernus does the same on a spreadsheet. Add that as a receipt in QuickBooks. Yeah, it's the only way to do it. So I've I've spoken to HMRC myself, and I've no, I haven't spoke. I lie, I tell a lie. I haven't spoke to HMRC, but I've been to get advice from an accountant because um, at one point I was considering employing an accountant to do all my books for me. So I went and had like an hour's free consultation to find out if it was for me or not. And during that conversation, I was talking about how do I account for cash purchases like car boot sale purchases. And I was told that um, it was an acceptable way of um, recording your purchases. So that's all, you, all, that's all I can go off. Cool. DB Resale says, I've had enough of PayPal not working with uh, QuickBooks to the point where I deleted the PayPal from QuickBooks and manually imported all transactions and recategorized, found around £100 worth of transactions. Yeah, problems, problems, problems with QuickBooks to and call PayPal. call yesterday to fix it. Um, yeah, it's a nightmare and it takes so much. I, you know, I got a, I got a refund of, of my last six months subscription did i tell you that damien i got a refund i've proper kicked off about it i've complained i know i've heard i know you mentioned it to someone i can't remember if it was on the chat or not yeah i did i got a refund for six months um but it at the moment it started updating again and it's touch wood it hasn't crashed yet but you still have to put the fees in anyway it's a bloody night um katan says he just got a camera but he's got but had an audio recorded on the phone so when i'm buying buying Makes a voice note so it's easy to log it later. That's, That's interesting. Do, yeah. yeah. I think if I was buying any more than what I'm buying now, then I would have to do something else because I, I really would forget what I paid for stuff. And Business Crew is from Melbourne. So thank you for joining us. And 5 45. 5 45 in the morning as well. So yeah, brilliant. Wow, you are up early. Nice one. Uh... Yes, I got, I did, I got a, re, a refund. I, 
I complained about it. I complained about it. I, I asked for it to be escalated several times. I was really miffed off, as you know, and just probably exactly the same as what you are. So I'd push him. I'd push him for, um, you know, the number of times I threatened to quit, quit books and, and stuff was in, amazing. MJ Dunbarton said, thank you so much. I've always been apprehensive to ask in case it seems stupid. Not stupid. There's never a stupid question. I really appreciate how friendly and welcoming you guys are personally and as a community. Cheers, guys. Yes. Never, ever is there a stupid question. And if we don't know the answer, I say we, if he doesn't know the answer, um, there's normally somebody in the chat who will be able to help you out. So, yeah, always ask. And if you don't want to come and ask it in the main bit, send Chris a private message. You can always send him as a message, yeah. yeah. No problem. Anytime. Um. Yeah. Uh, Business Crew says, I'm asking because I have recently started a new Facebook group for resellers in Australia. Oh, okay. Um, who do we have then? What do you mean? Who? Who watches us? Yeah. Two Aussie thrifters, uh, VHS Aussie thrifter, um, Drew, Drew's metal detecting, uh, Rod the Pommy Picker, um, Look Mum, I'm Hustling, um, there's more, there's loads. I'm sure you know most of them anyway. Mm. Uh, yeah, what I found with QuickBooks is when it goes like two days or more without updating, it breaks. I, I think I've it's done it about five times where it started and stopped, and I've had to like the their QuickBooks support is terrible. It is literally non-existent. They tell you to do the same things. Um, they don't. I sometimes even believe that it's not working. It's <laughs> just shocking. Uh, but, yeah, if it stops for two days or more, I would say it's probably going to break. Right. Oh, Mel, of course, back from yeah. burnout. Mel, back from burnout. Um, Ken Skeets as well. Yeah. Right. Let's move on. What have you got now? What are we doing? Um, we've got a mini auction to do. And have you got an oh no? I've not got any oh no's really. Have you got any? There was some. <laughs> See, I thought you'd written this. I thought you'd written it down because now I can't remember. But yeah, there was something that happened that was an oh no. Or was it just your penguin thing I was thinking about? Just my penguin thing. Just your penguin incident. The penguin. Penguin. That's the gate. biggest oh no ever, isn't it? Being accused of nicking a penguin from a car boot. Our business crew's also into metal detecting. I have a metal detecting don't, channel. Don't get them oh, started. Please I'll... don't get them started. What's no. your channel no, business? No, 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 no. Oh, can we not no, have no. his channel? No, no, no. Not if you're going to start going looking for stuff with that metal detector. What if I found something amazing? Do you not want to be part care. of it? Do you not well, want to be part yes, of it? Yes, obviously. Oh, I want so part of it, if you, if, but I'm not, no, I'm not participating in the finding. <laughs> you don't have to. You can stay at home. <laughs> I'll go walk the dog and I'll do a bit of metal detecting. Is that his uh, thing? Is it 69 Digs? 69 Digs. That sounds good. Is that your channel name? Would have to be 69, wouldn't it? <laughs> um, we're still waiting for a name. Oh, no, we we're going to say Penguin's Metal, weren't we? Or something. Penguin Metal Detecting. That's going to be our name. I think we do this. We start it up. Um, oh, what's this? Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. Having a spike of lifestyle. You don't, look, we do this for free. You don't have to pay us for shout outs. Avernus. What does Avernus mean? Avernus. Is it? I don't understand it's got what Avernus means. Uh, I can't see it properly. Well, thank you so much for that. That's yeah, very thank kind. You. It very, is very, very kind. kind. Nice super chat there. Thank you. Um, but let us know what Avernus means so I can put that name into some context. I think Avernus, I believe, if I remember from Catan's, are you called Keith? Is it? Did I see did I see Catan earlier say that your 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 actual name's Keith? I'm uh, imagining that. 
Um, business crew says 69 digs is a YouTube channel I, I explore in Australia mm. and Europe. Okay, Katan says Avenus is a bikers group. Ah, okay. he is called Biker Lifestyle. I know, but I didn't know if it was a group or what if it had some hidden meaning. Mm -hmm. um, there was an article in the paper recently about metal detecting stating that people have found amazing items in their garden. Oh, I could start with the garden, couldn't I? <laughs> I'm not even thought of that. <laughs> He's going to dig the garden up. It's I'm going to start with the garden. garden. <laughs> um, I'm saying people have found amazing items in a garden over lockdown. It should be encouraged. So treasures not right. Thank you, Liam. It should be encouraged. That's what they're saying. That's what I say. Oh, it's called Dave, not Keith. Sorry. <laughs> Dave. <laughs> it's called Dave. Uh, business. Sorry, you can't. You can't do any metal detecting in the UK because. Um, this is our patch. <laughs> You're not allowed. <laughs> um, as long as you don't come to Devon, because that's my my area now. That's the name of my former bike club. Jason says, Jason Heron says, uh, so at the end of this month, going self-employed, so is that when I need to have a business shop on eBay? Um, well, really, you technically you should have a business shop on eBay um, if you are reselling for profit. So it doesn't matter if you are full-time, part-time, whatever. Uh, in theory, that's what you that's what you should do. If you are selling for profit, you should really be registered as a business on eBay. But... Marlo said nope. <laughs> okay. Uh... Simply reselling bell, stop him, hide it quick. Oh, don't you worry. When he wakes up tomorrow morning, he will not know where that is. <laughs> I will bury it in the back garden, but he'll have no stick to find it. <laughs> it's going. This is what happens when I let him go to car boots on his own. He comes uh, back with metal detectors. Marlo said, you need a business account? Not... Yeah, yeah. you don't have to have a shop, but you should have a business account. Yeah. A shop is, you know, if you want to have a shop or if you want to increase the number of listings, you're allowed to do whatever. <laughs> um, Avenus says it's creating a little confusion, to be honest, as the channel's 95% about reselling. Um, if you want some advice from, from me about diversifying your channel, take it from someone who has a bit of a messy channel really i mean it's cooking the haydens so we post stuff about our life our travels our dog and our work um but that's if if i had to start again i wouldn't do it like that because our channel um because it's been it's very mixed it it really hurts the channel when it comes to search results in youtube so it's like almost like YouTube doesn't always know when to promote our channel videos next to another video, which is the promotion that you want most, um, because we are mixed and we're not focused on one subject. Um, so I would say try and try and stick to one subject on your channel. Don't do what we're doing. I, I know it, it's a tricky one, really, because. The, the problem you get is like sometimes we'll upload like loads and loads of reselling videos and they're doing very well. And then we'll upload a travel video and it will do nothing. It will get like 100 views. And that's I firmly believe that it's not because the content shit. It's because <laughs> it's because um, our channel is mixed and YouTube doesn't know when to promote it and when, when not to. And I think that is why our views are like that. It really is all over the show. Um, it's also difficult, I think, as well, to get a constant stream of subscribers when you upload different content because a lot of people join our channel for the reselling stuff and then we might release some non-reselling stuff that they're not interested in. So that means that they then might unsubscribe or might see that and think, why am I subscribed to this channel when it's not even reselling? So like that but i would say if you want to do better do better than us then try and stick to one subject it's too late for me i'm not i'm not i'm not <laughs> too late for us it save now. yourself yeah i'm not switching it now and if anything i enjoy doing the videos as a hobby just as much 
as building the channel. Yeah. Ooh, my mouth's gone dry after that, right? <laughs> Uh, and just catching up before we carry on. Dave says the other larger YouTubers no longer talk about reselling just junk. We do try to keep it on a re. I know we kind of mix in a bit of other stuff, but we do try to have a reseller sort of focus there. What you um, mean on on the on this show? Or? Yeah, we oh, right. yeah. We when we do this live on a Monday, we do oh, yeah. try to base it on reselling sort of content don't we but then obviously fit a bit of sort of stuff around it we like to have a bit of banter a little bit of banter bit of little bit of banter. Stuff. yeah yeah no worries it's just my thoughts on it it's just the way i've watched our channel grow um as opposed to other channels when they sort of um focus on one subject it seems to do better when you focus on one subject that's all i'm saying <laughs> We've got a gen uh, Martin Doyle has joined us. So good evening to you two. Good evening. Hello, Martin. You all right? Right. Now, look at the time. Are we going to have a look Shoot. at this, what you've got, this crap you've got to give away? Oh, Ketan likes our, our channel anyway. <laughs> our channel is perfect. I, I, love, I love doing our channel. P -p 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 perfect, Mr. P -p 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 <laughs> You were all doing it, so I thought I'd join in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, Simply Reselling says, uh, I've just started a channel after you guys and Nick and Zaheer and George. Good to document business too and fun to do. Yeah, yeah. You've got to do it as a, as a, I think, as a, initially you've got to enjoy doing it because it takes up a lot of time. It takes mm -hmm. a lot of time making videos. Like I do mainly on our channel, we have one live stream a week, which is this. And I try to upload two pre-recordeds in a week as well. So that's three uploads in a week. I couldn't really manage doing much more than that because that takes a hell of a lot of time up. Well, he did do a Thursday come list with me that everybody loved and he just deserted everyone. <laughs> he just he just turned his back and walked away. If you rewind <laughs> to episode one of Come List With Me, I did say to people I was doing it while lockdown was on. I'm pretty it sure wasn't lockdown's going... still on. Mm. No, it's not really. Mm. No, it's not. It's still a little bit. And, yeah, so. Right, time for, should we do this mini auction and see if anyone, if no one's interested, it's Don't fine. Don't worry about it. We'll we'll move on and we'll talk about something else. So. Not that we have anything else to talk about. <laughs> no, I haven't got anything. <laughs> We're being led by the chat. This is chat focused. <laughs> Sorry, it says we don't talk about that, Bell. It is the thing we do not name. Yeah. <laughs> I am going to bring it back at some point. For a, Tan, press one, one if you off. want Thursday's show again. Oh, stop it now. <laughs> Steve Brano said he loved Thursday's Come List With Me. Yeah, everyone loved it, didn't they? Yeah, and you just quit. You just quit. I had to because I wasn't getting any work done. <laughs> Uh, reseller kid says uh, I do one video a week and find that tough. The weeks go quick. Seems like I could do a video. Yeah. Steve Jackson says tough. he bin he binned us off. It was great to have it in the background. Martin Doyle says one. Oh, Queenie says one. Tori says one. Reseller kid says one. Oh, stop it! Stop <laughs> it! You that. Yeah, so that is very true. Business crew said if money is the motivation, you have a YouTube channel, then be careful. Yes, making money on YouTube is it's very hard. Yeah, it's not an easy thing. You need to enjoy just doing it. I mean, I've I've had this channel actually registered since 2012. So the channel's been there for eight years. And initially I used to just upload. I don't even think I've got the original uploads. I think I think when I started to do videos properly, I deleted some of the old stuff. Um, it was just Car Boot Chris then, wasn't it? There was no, no, no. There was before no that, it was just... Well, it was it was just it was just me, but I wasn't car boot, car boot Chris back then. It was just me just putting videos. <laughs> it was just Chris, it was just me, just Chris, just uh, good old me. Um, yeah. But yeah, back in 2012. But um, yeah, so I don't know what I was going to say anyway. I was, I'm feeling supersonic. Said so just had a Domino's delivery. Can you do another hour? If you send We're us some over. Yeah, send was, us some over and we'll stay on. It depends how long this mini auction goes on for. 
Oh, reseller kid says, I just use my channel for memories for when I'm older so I can laugh at myself oh, when yes. I'm older and see what I used to do. Well, you need to be very careful because my eldest son thought he'd do that and decided to sing to One Direction. Mm, oh, don't tell everyone that. <laughs> that well, to be fair, it's vanished, hasn't it? We can't find it. We've been we've been searching for it. I'm just gutted I didn't save it at the time because we wanted to use it against him ever since. Yeah. And it's we just can't find it. So, but yeah. Thank God we grew up in an era where that sort of crap couldn't be recorded. <laughs> yes. Um, Mr. Diggs says, I thought about stopping YouTube, but I think I've missed doing it. We'd miss you too. Yeah, I, I think you're getting better and better, Diggsy. I think you're doing a lot better. Pretty sure you were watching Diggsy when I brought you I breakfast was. up this morning. <laughs> <laughs> she brought me me cereal up and I had Mr. Diggs on. He did. So there you go. Supporter here. So, yeah, I mean, it's interesting you say that, Mr. Diggs, because that I go through I go through it quite a lot where I think, you know what, should I call it a day on the channel? Um, I've, I've thought about it a lot because it is so time consuming and i thought about just carrying on the channel but stopping the reselling content and just focusing on the business um but i do enjoy making the videos and you might have noticed and this is a conscious effort from me probably over the last four to six weeks you might have noticed that i have religiously gone live other than last week of course live pre-recorded pre-recorded and I've tried to religiously stick to three a week um, and trying to get the content that I think is most interesting to you guys, uh, even if it might not be. Because I, I have a thing about I end up making videos that I enjoy making and then I kind of forget what you guys actually want to watch. And that can be a mistake as well. But you do actually um, have people asking you to make certain videos no. regarding certain content. So, you know, so it just shows that people must know that you make good videos the point i'm trying to make is that in the last four to six weeks i've been really making an effort just to see if i can grow the channel a little bit further um than where it was going and it's definitely worked it's definitely worked um we're pushing close to five thousand subscribers now which is great um and the numbers are going up which is Ooh. good didn't mean to do that um anyway Look, just all I'm saying is, Mr. Diggs, just carry on. I think Dave said, is that us 4.5k subs? Yeah. Uh, just crack on. and People are saying you better not stop. <laughs> no. Jeremy Kyle's joined us. Woohoo! Jeremy Kyle's Good in Good evening. House. I love your videos. Keep it up. Oh, thanks, Jeremy. Can you give us a shout out on, <laughs> on the TV? Uh, you better not, Chris, says Tori. Tori says, I like your style, don't change. More shed vids, Chris. More shed vids? In your garage. Oh, the garage. garage one. Yeah. Right, come on. We've got we've got this um, auction to do. So You're going to have to wait one second. Oh, what, you need a wee? No, I don't need a wee. Oh. What? Oh. Oh, Marlowe's is... You've given you're us a, another you're, super chat. You're chat, a cheeky Jim. little monkey, aren't you? Mr. Marlow. Thank you, Jim. I appreciate that. That's very, very kind. Thank you so much, but I'm literally going to ban you from the chat if you carry on giving us super chats. <laughs> All right. We're not going to ban it. We're not, <laughs> no, we're not really going to ban you. We're not really going to ban um, you. Make sure um, you go and have a look at Marlow's or Jim's um, Instagram because some cracking posts on Instagram. I like a lot of his posts. Um, some really interesting sales and purchases and whatnot but thank you very much <laughs> he says you can't that. bloody stop me <laughs> <laughs> you just watch he mister <laughs> want to fight baby that was a bit freaky uh, jason <laughs> says guys sold the puss in boots 50p into 20 pound love selling but tell you what plushes absolutely they're still flying out i've got <gasps> Tori's at it now as well. Who's stop it, woman? You know what? You know why this is. We need to announce that we're quitting YouTube every week. Right, we're quitting YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Tori, thank you. Thank you, guys. Keep up the good work. I appreciate that. That's very kind. I honestly got I did not say it just for any of this stuff. No. I, I was just being honest with you because sometimes it goes through your head sometimes just to call it a day. Um, but 
I do. We do enjoy it. We we both enjoy doing it. Um, but thank you very much. That is very kind. Mr. Marlowe's leaving us anyway. See you again. Are you going to miss the auction? Yeah, that's why he's going. Oh. <laughs> he's spent it's, up. It's like I'm giving you a fiver. I'm off. <laughs> Give you a fiver. Saves me bidding on anything. Right. Okay. Right. We need to do this now. So let me get some stuff. I've got four. I think four lots of stuff. Um. So you're going to keep a note if anyone actually wants to buy any of them. Because <laughs> what I'm doing is I'm having, well, not a major clear out, but I've got to clear stock. Um, and the most most of this that I'm auctioning off um, is has never been listed. There's only one thing that has been listed before. Um, but mo the majority of it never, ever been listed. Um, I'm trying to explain. <laughs> Sorry, but Dave's put a poo. <laughs> oh, he's, he's super chatted as 99p but with a poo on it <laughs> oh nice thanks dave what you're saying is shit <laughs> that made me chuckle i don't know if it's gonna oh it's not showing up on there but on mine it's got a little emoji poo oh yeah <laughs> it's not coming up on Streamyard, dave but oh. yeah thanks for the poo cheers <laughs> no no thank you dave that's very kind of you um, yeah, so what we thought we'd do is, I thought we'd try doing this mini auction. If it don't work, we won't do it again. But if it does work okay, what we might do is either every Monday night we might just have one or two, maybe one item you don't like that idea, do you? Um, or we might do once a month just a auction show. Something to spice it up once yeah, a month. Yeah, just spice it up. Um, try and clear some stuff out and get bit a bit of, of bit of fun, a bit of interaction with you guys bit, a bit of get health. a bit of cash in the bank <laughs> no it's, no because i'm not expecting much but a bit of healthy sort of bid, bidding going bidding on, competition like it, yeah no i don't know we'll see but i've seen some other people doing little auctions and i thought i might try it auction the metal items you find yeah that's a good idea dave yeah. me and you Buttons. are gonna fall out <laughs> right with anyone who wins an auction Gets a Chupa Chups cap, signed oh. by us, by the way, um, oh, God. if you haven't got one already. I'm sorry, my backside's gone numb. <laughs> I'll see you now. Uh, uh, yeah, they can. I'm trying to not... It keeps going blurry. Right. The first item, and I've got two of them, so what do you reckon? Do we do them separately, or do we do them together? Separately. Yeah. Together. We, we're gonna let Who's going to want two? No one's going to want two, are they? They are pretty cool, but who's going to want two? These are really cool uh, squirtles, squirtles, big squirtles, massive actually. And the reason I want got these gone is because they're far too big and they're taking up room in my stock room. So I'm wondering if anyone wants to put a bid in for these. Let's call it free postage. So Andrew started the bidding at a pound. Okay. Thanks, Andrew. And we're going to say postage is included to the UK. If you're abroad, we need to negotiate on postage. <laughs> um, no, we'll post for we'll post for free. And so, does anybody want these? And what we'll do is we'll say, what well, are we going to do it with two available? What the top two people? At the moment, Andrew's got it for a quid anyway. Yeah. And he's putting a spanner on any other bidder. <laughs> so, is it? DB Resales Loop says if it was a Bulbasaur, he'd want it. We haven't got a Bulbasaur, sorry. It is Squirtle, isn't it? It is Squirtle. Yeah, yeah we have two Squirtles. Two Squirtles Ooh! humping each other. Um, so, come on. So, we had Jason at one. £1. Oh, Kitana said £10 for Squirtle. Nice one, Kitan. That's what we want. So at the moment we've got Katanin for so what ten pounds. Two, two top people. When we, we need close to, it. we yeah, we need to give it time span. Give it a few minutes. Right, we'll give it like two minutes. Oh, Katan's saying ten pound for both. Yeah, ten pound for both. Five pound each. They are at the moment. Then right, okay. You you're the go on. You're the auction master. Go and bid it up. Bid it up. Bid it up. I can't do it. I can't do that fast talking. Five pound. Five pound. What the hell is that? What the hell? Katana said ten pound for both. 
uh, simply reselling is saying 11. What's that? 11 for both? Are we doing them together? For one. Should we, we do them for both? It's, a, it's just there, a postage, isn't it, on both? That's going to screw me over, that. Uh, so come on, simply reselling. Is that 11 for both? Or Come 11 on. for one because at the moment you know we've got Keep Queenie Conquest is offering me 7 99 for one. Oh, we need to clarify if it's for both or for one. I know, I'm asking, and I keep nearly blocking people. Um, you also don't forget you get a signed Chuppy Chups cap with this as well. Um, Andrew said he's out, everyone's too rich. So at the moment, at the moment. If Catan's saying ten pound for both, that means the four five quid each. That means he's only getting one because Queenie Conquest is offering seven ninety nine for one. Okay, that makes sense. So that means Catan's getting one and Queenie Conquest is getting one. Anybody want to go any higher? Remember, this is free post as well. It's going to oh, cost me a five. Catan's saying fifteen for both. Right. So, okay. Ooh. Come on. He wants these squirtles. These are very cool. They're, they're very, very light. They've got um, like little balls in them, like little polystyrene balls. Um, Simply reselling is saying, is it for one or for both? At the moment, it's whatever you want because Catan wants both. But if somebody offers me more for one, then obviously it outweighs and Catan only gets one. So you could, you could. You, I know it's confusing this one. I'm Martin sorry, Doyle started, saying honest. 16 for both. Right. So there you so go. So just when you make your bid, say if it's for one or for two, and then we'll work out who's the best bid is. Yeah. So Martin Doyle at the moment is 16 for both. They're massive. Look, it's nearly the size of Bell. <laughs> it literally is. Hello. Oh, Steve Brano says £9 for one. £9 for one. Okay. Right. We're going to give it one minute and then we're so going to give it. That means up. at the moment. One minute. Simply, right, simply reselling is, so at the moment we've got Steve Brano, £9 for one, and simply reselling £10 for one. Okay. Right, Catan's out. Catan's out. So at the moment we've got Steve Brano and simply reselling. And don't forget, you get a signed Chupa Chups cap from both of us as well, which is worth more than Right. Are we calling it? Bit. Are we calling it? Right, oh, we... Green Bear Peaks has said 11 for one. 11 for one. So who's winning so now? So we've got Simply Reselling has got 10 for one, and Green Bear Peaks has got 11 for one. Okay, so going oh, once. Martin Doyle saying £21 for both. Ooh, that's confusing. That's £10.50 <laughs> each. Green Bear Peaks has said 11 for one. We should have thought this through better, shouldn't we? We should have done one at a time. Queenie Conquest has said 11 50 for one. Right. So who's winning now? So we've got Martin Dahl that says 21 for both, which is 11.50 each. 10.50 each. Uh, sorry, 10.50 each. And we've got Queenie Conquest that said 11.50 for one. We've got Steve Brannell that's got 11 for one. And we've got Martin Dahl that's 22 for both. Come on, we can't spend too long on these. We've got right, three we're going to go. At the moment, we've got Martin Dahl, 22 for both. Yeah. Yeah, is that? So that's £12 each. Oh, 12 for one there. Well, for one oh. green bear peaks. Sorry, sorry, it is a confusing auction. I'm sorry. Right. So we've got Martin Dial, who's got 22 for both, which is £12 each. And we've got Green Bear Peaks, which is £12 for one. So I say. No, £22 is £11. Oh, sorry, £11 for both. I can't. I, my maths is shocking. Right, we've got Green Bear Peaks 12 for 1 and Steve Brannell 12 for 1. Right. Going once, going twice. Sold. Right. <laughs> Thank God. 12 quid 12 each. 12 each. So write that down for me. <laughs> right, guys. Thank God we haven't got two of anything else. Oh, yeah, I'm sorry about that. We need to think about that properly next time. But so we they're used it. to it. This is what makes us it's so... It's chaos, isn't it? Yeah, they make it, we make it fun because we're so chaotic at it. We're shocking. We're useless. Um, so just make a note. So it's Green Bear Peaks. Um, if you guys message me, I'll give you the details. For and PayPal. Steve Brano, Steve, what the hell are you gonna do with a giant square? What are you gonna do with him? And you both get a cap as well, so that is a bargain because these caps are. So, worth gold dust, aren't they? Are Stephen Green Bear Peaks not in the CCC? 
No, don't think so. Woohoo! Does that mean two we've got members. two new members? Woo woo! Right, let's move on because we're going to be here all night at this rate. So have you got that written? Yep. Message me on Insta or something or find me somewhere. Oh, Steve says he's going to give it his daughter Lula and get the cap. I think we need a picture of that. You with your cap and your little one with a with a squirt on. Go sit down, Cooks. Go, on, go sit down. Good girl. Cookie's like, what's going on? Mummy and Daddy are getting all excited. Right now, the next lot. The next lot we're going to try and flog. And you, you also get a cap if you so wish to have one. I've got a bundle of 77. <gasps> get that. Just listen carefully. 77 comics. Now, take a look. All these comics. And these are, com I promise you, these are unsorted. I have got about a thousand comics. I've got so many of them. I'm never going to get through them. I'm never going to be able to research them all. I lifted a big bundle like this out of my comic pile, out of my comic death pile, completely unlisted. They've never hit eBay. I haven't got a clue if there's anything decent in here. Many of them have, have, have got like somebody has owned these and put them in their own sort of protective packagings. So, so far, this is one lot, one bundle, so we're going for one bid, aren't we? Yeah, one bundle, one bid, easy peasy. So we've had Chris Tyler put a five in, but Mr Diggs has put six in. So at the moment, okay, it's with Mr count. Diggs with six. Chris Tyler's seven. Do I'll I, show them. Do I, have to do, the, do I have to do the thing again? Blah, 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 yeah, blah, seven. Blah, 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 seven. <laughs> and we've got 750. <laughs> I'll go through them if you oh, keep an Jason eye. Jason Heron says a tenner. There's 77 of these. Look at that one. That's a bit pornographic, isn't it? Uh, Alan Supersonic says, I bought from you no, before. No. Remember, Chris, show us a few flick through. Who, oh, flicking. Supersonic, yes. Steve Jackson says 15. These are unsorted. I've never researched these. I promise I think Steve Brano got paid today. He's putting 16. 77. Comics. Jason's on 17. Steve Jackson's 18. Oh, Chris Tyler's out. Thanks, Chris, though. Thanks for bidding. And don't forget, whoever wins, you get a cap as well. Signed cap. That's worth at least 20 quid. So at the moment, we're on Steve Jackson at 18. <gasps> Chris and Bella have just become a CCC. He's bought a cap. Who's bought one? Katan. You see, if you bidded on something, could he did. Got... He was trying to get Squirtle to get a cap, and he got outbid. But you might have seen something <laughs> else you wanted. Right, we've got Jason Heron now on nineteen. As soon as I've finished going through these seventy-seven, we will put the hammer down. Yeah, or I'll put my glass down without breaking it. Yeah, try not to break it. <laughs> They're very mixed. So we're still on Jason at the moment at 19, and we have That's a just, just a small bundle going to go through. So 19 quid, that would be, uh, what, about... Don't look at me, I struggle to have about 22. About 30p each at that price. Oh, Steve Branagh's nicked in there at 20 quid. 20 quid. Hey, if Steve wins, that means I don't have to send another cap. <laughs> and and I can combine postage. Come on, Steve. Come on, keep uh, going. Dal De Bleach ninety four says, "What year are a couple for an idea?" Oh God. And Jason's just put a cheeky bid in of twenty one. Um, between got... Steve and Jason at the moment. November two thousand. I'll see if I see any others. Son of Hulk. I'm looking for dates, but they don't all have them on. Yeah, you just got to look for them. Whoopsie Daisy. Wow, what did you do? Uh, 2006, November, this one. 90s to 2005. Probably, Is yeah. that That's what I'll... I'm supersonic, so... Looks like it, yeah. Free comic book day, that one. At the moment, we're on Jason Heron at 21, and you've got about four to go through. No, I've got all that yet. Oh, crap, I thought you'd finished. I haven't done 77 <laughs> yet, Jesus. Why are we doing every single one? Yeah, I'm, well, people want to know what they're bidding on, don't they, on this one? Right, I'll go a bit quicker there. 
Come on, keep the chat going. Come on, we've got to at least get up to 30 quid. That's <laughs> less than 50p each. Hey, <laughs> Daisy, whoa. We said it's going for whatever it's it going will, for. I will let it go for whatever. Why is it doing that? I don't know. That one. Yeah. Right. No, people didn't see that one. Sorry. There we go. It, oh, it's... I just dropped my lid. <sighs> Cheers. So at the moment, it's going to Jason Heron for 21 quid. Oh, Steve Brannell's cheeky nipped in at 23. Means Come business. on, Steve. I'm, ah. I'm going in for Steve, man. Oh, Jason Heron's nipped in at 25. He's seen one he likes. He's seen one. He's an expert on comics. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, Alan Supersonic, £30. Chris. Oh, no, it's Supersonic. Supersonic. 30 cream. Drop the hammer. It, we're nearly here. We're getting there. Come on, there's got to be some decent ones. That here. was a proper cheeky little bid going in there from Alan Su quick. I'm feeling Supersonic. You must be a glutton for punishment if you've already had some. He's bought off me before. Oh, Jason's gone for 31. Al's gone for Ooh. 35. Oh, you cheeky buggers. Come on, you need to get going. I know. This bid's going on forever. We're nearly there. Look, in the interest of transparency, I'm showing everybody. Jason's gone for 36. It's going up. All right, this is, this is the last lot. Last lot going. here. Al's gone for 40. Somebody's seen something in here that's worth it. I know this is probably boring to everybody who's not even interested. Katana said, is there only one cap left in your store? Because I've just bought the second from the last one. Uh, no, I will add some more onto there. I've got I've got about 15 left. Uh, Jason's nipped in there. For, it's, oh, no, Al's gone in for 45. Ooh. Deglicia said, Al, Al spotted a cheeky one, me thinks. Oh, you cheeky bugger. You see, I told you, I, I swear I have I don't have the time to go through all these. I've got literally you still got a thousand. More. I've got a thousand at least. Oh, Jason's gone in with 46. Flipping it. Now Chris is starting to wish he was keeping them because clearly there's something in these. Listen, I don't mind. I'm <laughs> I'm glad to I'm glad to clear them. There's got oh, I think, Al's gone in for 55. Average Average is going to be something decent in here. And it's, it weighs quite a bit as well. Right, so we've, we're down to about the last. We're nearly there, so is it going once? Come on, it will be. Go on. Tell me when you get in there. We're on 55 with Al. Go on, we've got to go once. Going once. Going twice. And I've got two left. <gasps> and it's gone to Al. I'm feeling finished. supersonic. Thank you, Al. Thank you. Supersonic. Supersonic. And you get the cap as well. Well done. So is Supersonic another CCC? Yeah. Well, they all are, aren't they? They all are. Yay! That was good. I wasn't, I wasn't quite expecting that, but I reckon he spotted a couple in there that might be worth something. <laughs> Did you have a delay on that, Al? Because he suddenly put 65 quid in after we told you you can have it for 55. <laughs> Wait, someone else? <laughs> no. That's <laughs> no, fine. 55. So 55's fine, Al. Don't worry about it. Come on, camera. Chris. Oh, it don't matter. I've done it. I've got the magic hand. Right. Any Doctor Who fans? <laughs> Green Bear Pizza says, I don't know who will be more happy, my lad on his birthday or me when I'm becoming a member of the notorious CCC. Obviously <laughs> becoming a part of the CCC. Uh, now, guys, people who are getting caps as well, you need to let Chris know, do you want them signed or do you want them virgin? It's entirely up to you. They want them signed, surely. <laughs> you need to let us know. Right. Now, third lot out of four. I've got one more lot after this. Ow, 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 ow. You said I'll send the 65, love the channel. It's 55. No, it's 55. 55. It's absolutely fine. You'll get a 10 cent back. 55. <laughs> <laughs> uh, right. Doctor Who. Doctor Who stuff. Are you ready? Um, right. I've got a bundle of Doctor Who stuff. So let's go through it. Katan said Chris and Belle could have the cap signed by you, Chris, and paw print from Cookie, please, on the cap. Oh, can we do a paw print? We can draw one on. Yeah, we'd have to draw one, I think. I don't I don't really know if we could actually... We'll draw one on. 
Oh, Steve, I want mine signed and a lipstick kiss. <laughs> of course you can, bud. Hey, watch it. <laughs> right, come on, next lot. You ready? Andrew says a fiver. Uh, Andrew said a fiver. Right, I've got in this lot all Mr. what you're bidding. A tenor. What you're bidding on. Two, two of these figures. That one is Clara Oswald and that is Weeping Angel. Those two. We've also got some DVDs. I've got this box set, which is the complete first series. These have never been listed, by the way. Never been listed. Um, Doctor Who, which is, I said, of course it's Doctor Who. It's The Waters of Mars and The End of Time Parts 1 and 2. Double thing. We've got... We've got Chris Tyler in at 12 now. 12 quid. We've got this Dalek plush. Steve Jackson at 15. Rudely interrupted me. Exterminate! Exterminate! Um, now, there is an issue with this. It looks good, but there's a tiny little hole here. So I'm going to point it out to you. There's a tiny little hole there. We've got Steve Brano at 17. And there. Uh, but that's a nice plush, that. If you can just repair those little holes. Um, it's worth money even as it is that. Chris Tyler at 18. Now, also, I've got to go with this Doctor Who lot. Steve Jackson, 20. Bloody hell. Calm down, you lot. Catan says, Chris, if you have that dodgy Walkman from months back, I will 100 for it, laugh out loud. Um, I've got four <laughs> four books. There's You can see what they are there. Incredible Ars just joined. He said, wow, I came in time, Doctor Who. Yes, and if you would like to bid on it, the bid at the moment is at £20 for the whole lot. So there's those four books. I'll, I'll tell you again what's in it in a minute. Is this book? <laughs> Oliver Ian says, how many listings you got on eBay? You could get the lock gone tonight at this rate. Give it a go. Hi, Anna. EBG. I've got these figures. Shut up. Jesus. Uh, there's this one. I think it was like a key ring, but it's just missing the top of the key ring off it. So you could easily put a ring on that. Uh, Chris Tyler's coming at 22. And incredible are, we're not Doctor Who fans. This is just stuff that we have picked up over time and we're getting rid of. Yeah. It's been in our unlisted death pile for a while. Do you really need to put it that close to the speaker? Yes. Um, so there's that thing. Um, this one is a wind-up Doctor Who, and it just it goes around runs, around, runs around. And then I've got three little mini figures. I think they're Funkos. Dave says, I just like made that. a joke, Bell, and didn't realise. What did I say? These little figures. Doctor the Robot and this, this guy, this, like, Mr. Hook or something. I don't know. I'm not a Doctor Who fan, so... Those three minifigures. And that's it. So at the moment we're on Chris Tyler with 22. Let me recap what you get in this lot. So and when I've recapped, we're going to put the hammer down. Incredible eyes asked for your eBay link. Have you got your little thing that goes across the bottom? Uh, yeah. Of course. There you go. Um, so here's what's in this lot that you're bidding on. There's three little minifigures. They're a bit like sort of Funko, Funko uh, mystery mini type things. Three of those. Katan says, Chris, this is actually faster than listing on eBay. I like this it format. Is. Def do it more often. <laughs> um, there's a wind up um, TARDIS and there's one that is meant to be a key ring. It's just missing the ring at the top and it makes noises. Those two. Uh, we've got five books, that one and those four. We've got the Dalek. Thanks, Steve, for that. You would make a good Dalek. Uh, but there is a couple of little issues on this, Some a couple of small holes on the Dalek. There's one there and there's one there, but it really doesn't detract away from that. That is nice. Right, once these... 
Yeah. Three more items go in the box. I'm putting the hammer down, and we're on Chris Tyler at 22. There's a complete first series. So it's going once. There's the two-pack there. Going twice. And also, finally, two figures. Sold! For £22 to Chris Tyler. Woo! Thanks, Chris. And you get a cap as well. So don't forget, send me a message on Instagram or something somewhere. Find me. Send me a message. I'm actually pleased he got something because you've actually bidded on everything we've shown. So, yay. And, Chris, don't forget, oh, every time you move, it goes fuzzy. Let us know if you want your cap signing. Right. Now, this is the last one that I'm auctioning off. And I just want to say thanks, everybody. <laughs> Chris Tyler's supporting capitals. Boom, I have the cap. He didn't want Doctor Who stuff. Oh, is that what you want? <laughs> the cap? Could have just gone and bought one for a fiver. <laughs> um, I just want to say thank you for taking part in this and supporting us because it's nice to clear some stuff out, but also it's it's great. It's the a bit interaction of fun. is good as well. It's a bit of fun. So thank you very much. Right, now, last one. Now, I think this is the best lot. Oh, we still got one left. Yeah, this is it. I oh, thought we were done. Number, I did have three, but then I added the Pokemons in the last minute. Oh, so... Right. Just to clarify, incredible, incredible who's just joined us. We're doing a bit of an online bid for some of the stuff that Chris has. So anything that he's about to show you now, as uh, Tori said, you just put <laughs> a bid in the chat. Yeah. Um, if you want it, I'll go get some more stuff if you want it. No, we'll do it another time. <laughs> we'll do it another time. Now, this this box. Yeah. Look at the size of that. Next it's to my heavy. little head. It's heavy. Now, this has got more than 40 items in it. It's a mystery box, right? It's a mystery box. That means I ain't showing you what's in it. But if you know our store, Movie Fusion, you know the kind of things I like to sell. So that might be movie-related and TV-related things. Has it got 40 penguins in it, Dave? There's says. no penguins in it, I promise you. Oh, hang on, I've got bids coming in. At the moment, Incredible R is, has come in with a £26 bid. Ooh. It's a mystery box. I'm not showing you what's in it. But what I will say is there's over 40 items in here. Tori's come in with 30. Martin Dahl, 31. It's all... See, I get to see it. You don't. I don't know what's in it either. She don't know. <laughs> she got a clue. Jason Heron's coming at 40. What I'm, what I'm, I'm going to do is, if you watched the video at the weekend uh, from the boot sale hall, so there's over 40 items in there already, but you, you might have seen me pick these up as well. We had Incredible Hour at £41.10. Oh. We've got Steve Brano at 42 but I did pick these up, and at the moment, they're not worth a lot. It's um, PS2 Little Britain, first series Little Britain. I'm going to chuck them in the mystery box for you, so you get that as well. So is that 42 items? No, that's over 40, <laughs> so I think it's about 45 items there now. Uh, so now we're at Steve Jackson's at 43. Um, Incredible as 43.1, Martin Doyle's at 44. So, <laughs> Katan's doing the bidding voice as the bids come in. Thank you, because <laughs> I can't do it. <laughs> so what I would say is, it, this would be great. It would be great for anybody to open up, um, especially if you've got kids or... Do a video. If you're a YouTuber and you want to do a video, this could be quite good fun to un, you know, unbox or whatever. And I trust Chris, Chris wouldn't give any shite away. He wouldn't. No, it, it'd all be decent stuff that's some, in this there's box. There's some nice stuff in here. It, the majority of it's brand new. I'll say that much. The majority is brand new. There's one or two bits that are second hand. Yeah, you just on two DVDs then. And the DVD, <laughs> and those Little Britain things, which I'll tell you, they're not, not worth much anyway. Um, but it's mostly movie and TV related items. Right, we're on Martin Doyle at 44 at the minute. We're on 21.35 time-wise, so the minute it turns 21.36, the bid's gone. So any last-minute bids going on the mystery box from Cookie oh, and the Hayden? DB resale's coming at 50. Ooh. Now, Damien has had a big box of stuff like this, so he, 
he knows the kind of things that he's going to get in here. It's going to be very similar to what he's had in the past. So keep an eye on that time because I can't keep an eye on the time as well as the bids tell you me have it to, changes. Yeah, but you can't just put the hammer down. You have to give you have to say going once and then wait right, a minute. Going once and then going twice. Wait. Going twice. No, wait. Give him a chance. Oh, oh. Martin Doyle's cost coming at fifty two. So when someone comes in with another bid, you have to give a chance right. for anyone else to come back. Anyone else Jesus, going before I put the hammer down? Options, does she? It's going once. It's going up. Oh, Gary Nicholson's coming at fifty four. You're making me nervous. I'm, I'm nervous. <laughs> right. So it's at 54 with Gavin Nicholson. Oh, Martin's coming at 55. Come on, guys. You get a cap as well, don't forget. Right. 55 with Martin Doyle. Going once. Going twice. Sold. To Martin Doyle at £55. Pounds. There you go. <laughs> nice one. Oh Thank my god, you. my heart was going. I was like, oh. oh, Gary Nicholson, you just missed it. You came in at 56. Sorry, no. guy. Unlucky. The sorry. hammer went down. That's the way it goes. I'm sorry, Gary. So it is Martin Doyle who has got it. Well, that was interesting. Thank you, everyone. So you're not going to show him now <laughs> what he's got <laughs> so he can not send you the money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not showing him. I'm not showing him. You have to wait until you get it. <laughs> All I can tell you is there's some good stuff in there. And if I have a route about before I send it out, um, I might even throw in a few more bits for you. Yeah, well done, Martin. And welcome to the CCC group. And I was going to ask, Chris said he's already got a cap. Okay. So do you want another cap? Because you're quite welcome to have it. You've paid for it. You won it fair and square. Or are you not bothered? Oh, Just let us know. Because I'm assuming you don't want it signed if you've already got a signed one. Incredible uh, answers. Imagine if it's a rip-off and you get nothing good. <laughs> well, thankfully, people know us better than that. <laughs> and they know where to find us also. We'd never hear the end of it, would no, we? No, we wouldn't. And we wouldn't do that to anybody anyway. Oh, Chris Tyler says, Belle, Gary can have my cap as I have one. Bless. We will get a cap sent to Gary. So Gary has put there, there was a delay on the bid. He said it before um, it was gone, but it didn't show up on mine until at least three or four comments afterwards. So I'm sorry. Yeah. It can be a bit of a pain. We find this a lot with StreamYard. It doesn't, the timings are not quite right. Um, Thank you, Tori. Incredible, says Chris is honest. Yes, he I is. am. And you, I will make sure... Oh, you get something deep. Sorry, he's got. Sorry, said Gary's got one. All oh, right, Cookie, come here, baby. I'm assuming she wants to go out. She's hearing that bird outside. Right, okay. Chris that Tyler is said, "Auction the cap, then, Bell." I don't. I don't think we can auction the cap because they're only a fiver. So it's not really worth auctioning, is it? Maybe we could ask a question, and the first person to answer it gets the cap. Whoever wants one. That's not mess about. We'll save it for another day. I'm going to run out of caps over eyes, aren't I? Well, no, it's Chris Tyler's cap. Oh, is it? Oh, is that what you're That's talking That's what I'm about? saying. Chris Tyler said auction it off. So I reckon we should ask a question. And whoever gives the first answer who wants the cap gets the cap. Or we could say, you know, whatever. You do what you like. You decide. So I'm going to ask a really easy question. So it's fast. It easy. Well, we need, we just want people to answer it. What if it's someone answers it who's already got a cap? Well, then it's because they want another one. Okay. Yes, only answer Don't if answer you want. Don't answer unless you want one. Courtesy of Chris Tyler, if you want a CCC cap, answer this question. The first person that answers it who wants it will get it sent to them. And the question, really easy, really simple, is what was Chris's previous job role? Out of what? Before becoming a reseller. I don't know if many people know that. Is that not an easy question? I want to said so. I'm going to go with simple reselling because that's the one I was thinking of. A cop. Right. So there we go. That actually isn't the correct answer. <laughs> no, but it was the answer I was wanting, but I forgot yeah, you actually you had a job that. after that, <laughs> didn't you? <laughs> It's fine. We've done it. Simply reselling. See, technically, Andrew got it right. He did, but he's already got a cap. 
So <laughs> it's, that doesn't matter. Uh, right. We've solved it. So courtesy of Chris Tyler, the cap is going to simply reselling. Okay. So you need to get in touch with Chris so he can get it sent out to Everybody you. Everybody who won um, an option tonight, thank you very much. Very much appreciate it. I'm glad you all sort of participated in it. Otherwise, it would have been a bit silly. <laughs> uh, but thank you. I really, really appreciate it. Um, what, what I want to know is um, if you enjoyed it and you want to see that on a more regular basis, I don't want to be seen to be trying to flog to everybody all the time. But I'm just trying to do something a bit different. Um, so um, if you would like us to do this every week, but only do maybe one auction a week, or if you'd rather, if you think it might be a good idea to do a show once a month where we just do several different auctions, let me know what you think. Um, also, if you won anything tonight, including the cap at the end, um, will you send me a message on Facebook, on Instagram, um, and then I, we can sort out PayPal and stuff. Um, there you go. Got something going on in the chat here. So a kid is saying that someone's hacked his account. Oh, right. Oh, dear. Mod block the person, but I don't know who he's saying. Andrew's saying cheated again. Did you want another cap, Andrew? I think you've got two already. Give somebody else a chance to join the CCC club. <laughs> you've been told, boy. <laughs> Chris Tyler, simply reselling. Is this Mr. Blobby? Cox, come here, baby. Come here. Um, right. You can send me a message on Twitter. You can do a, send me Instagram, Facebook, whatever you like. Uh, come on then, Cooks. Come here. Come and say hello to everyone before we finish. Come here. Come here. Oh, Simply Reselling is come Lucy. Here. Oh, right. Oh, God. Oh, there we go, baby. Come say hello to everyone. There you go. Look, Cooks, there's all your fans over there. Look, look, look at that. What's that? What's that? Look. Look at all them people. So Katan's saying do it once a month so you get it ready so no stress. That's a good point. To do it each week. I think it's too much each week, and I've said this yeah, from the start. I know. I'm just asking, I'm just putting it out there, see what people like. And I don't really want to be I don't want to be selling to everybody all the time, but I just thought it'd be something nice to do. Martin Dahl said we'll send you a Twitter message if that's okay. Of course, yeah, no problem. Hey, Cookie from Cookie and the Haydens. Here you go. Come <laughs> on, baby. <laughs> Ooh, this one gorgeous, baby. Yes, you are. Yes, uh, you are. Vinegar Jar says, I'm in the middle of rebranding my YouTube channel, What a Faff. I can only go, uh, you've done it, you've done yeah, that, haven't you? We've had a bit of a rebrand recently. So I know what you're going for. Oh, look at her. Look at her. <laughs> yes, you probably want to wee. You want a wee with cooks? Been sat here ages. She's like, for God's sake, can she we go? She probably put her head on my shoulder. I don't know if she's looking at something. Which always freaks me out when she's looking out into a dark corridor. What can she see? She's looking into black space there. I'm worried what she's seeing. And you know, I did have a dream that there was a ghost in the hallway yesterday. Did you? Yeah, I did. That's weird. I think she's seen something, you know. <laughs> Unless it's those humping squirtles over there. <laughs> what are you looking at, Cooks? Who is it? Oh, it's a ghost. Is it a ghost? Look at her looking. I'm freaked out by this. <laughs> Seriously, people, look. She is looking into a black hole. She's, over she'll there. start growling in a minute. Cookie. All right, baby. You okay, Pooch? Yes, I love baby girl. Right. right. Are we going to let the people go? Yes, we are. Oh, that was a busy little show, wasn't it? It was, but thank you. It was fun. No, it was a lot of fun. Thanks very much. Um, good of you to all join join in with the chat and, and all the auctions and all that stuff. It's Spend great. your well-earned cash that, you, that you've got from reselling this week. I'll tell you what, you've got some bargains there, people. You've got some absolute bargains. And if you don't feel like you have, feel free to send them back. No, 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 I'm not. When there's no return, no return. 
All bids are final. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. Bye, penguin knicker. Vinegar jazz only just come in the chat and they're calling you a penguin knicker. I know, yeah. How rude. <laughs> right, come on, let's go. Yeah, we'll call it a day. Thanks, everyone. And also, everyone who's super chatted us, thank you again. That's very, yeah. very kind. Three super chats today, and that's that's just fantastic. Thank you. No, In no way do we expect any of that, so thank you very much. Um, and that is it. Um, what have we got on this week? I've got a video coming out in the week. I bought a huge haul of stuff from a subscriber. Um, who contacted me, they were clearing out some of their stock. Um, so they offered me the chance to make a purchase. I did. It was massive. And I've videoed the haul, what I paid, what I expect to get back. That will be out this week. I'm also considering an idea for a 60-second tips video. Um, and as I'm sure Andrew will tell us, um, it probably will last two minutes but <laughs> 60 second tips possibly later this week um and that is pretty much it and other than that are we gonna we're gonna be on next monday aren't we yeah yeah because the guys are going back on sunday, sunday they're going back yeah. so yeah we'll be back on monday as usual monday 8 p.m that is it thanks for joining us and don't forget drop me a message everybody who <clears throat> won anything or needed to contact me for anything um so we are going that's it uh let me find the vt and then we can you do this to me all the time i'm waving i know you. i know I, I have to go onto a different screen <laughs> to find it right thanks everyone and we'll catch you again soon keep an eye on the videos this week some good ones coming out bye take care bye, bye.